really need to chill after this haul on satin. Maybe do a little linen moment. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. I hope you're all well. As the title tells today, we're doing a little bit of a Zara haul. Spring is in the air. Well, Canada hasn't gotten the memo because here in the six, it's still zero degrees, but eventually it will warm up and I'll be able to wear these pieces. In the meantime, I want to show you what I got. There's three pieces I'm going to show you off the top that I got last month, but I just realized I only showed the TikTok and Instagram fam. So if you're not following me, definitely follow me over there to stay on top and Keep up to date with my shop with me. Technically, summer is my favorite season to style because I love a good short. But since it only last two months here, I try to get the most out of the spring too. Winter is kind of like, pff, you try to do the best you can. But anywho, let's get it. The first thing I want to show you is actually my absolute favorite because it's so simple and it's a staple. It's this white satin blouse. When I saw satin come up on the timeline, I said, okay, I love satin back in the day. And I thought after it went out, it was never coming back. One thing about fashion is everything comes around. I'm in love with this. It's just in a simple white. It's not too crisp white, so it's very versatile. Why I got white as opposed to the other 800 colors it comes in is because I can use it for any season and any reason. I can see this tucked in a leather skirt. I can wear with denim. I can wear it open. I can accessorize like with this shirt to dress it up or dress it down. There's just a lot with this. One thing I love about satin anything is it's super flowy. So it takes everything up a notch and just gives simple effortless chic. If you know what I mean. Hey, one thing you need to know about me is if I love something, I'm not going to get it in every color. Mm. I might get it in two, but even that's pushing it. But what I will do is if I fall in love with the fabric, it's gonna be in everything I wear. So there's no surprise that I got a satin dress. I love this. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear this to. I convinced myself that I might be able to get away with wearing this to a bridal shower this spring. It's a French countryside theme. So I, I think this is giving too fancy. Let me know down below. But I like the color, of course, Bottega Green is very in. The only thing is, they fugazi with it. I thought it was a real wrap dress. I've been looking for a wrap dress for years and I can never find one that fits right. And I wanted to be able to adjust it. Luckily for me, this actually cinches quite well, so I don't have to worry so much about that. I like that the back has the button, so it's modernizing it, because let's be real, sometimes wrap dresses give a little elderly, if you know what I mean. It also got a Z slit. I'm always here for a good slit. So this dress sold out in minutes. I actually had to call the store. They don't do holds anymore. So I was waiting for them to take my name and they hung up on me. I was like, wait, hold up. So I went to the store and luckily it was the last one they had and they took it off the site. They have it in white and black now if you still like the style. But of course I was drawn to this very Bottega green. I usually hate these type of cinching with the strawstring type of anything. But something about this, again, maybe it's a slit. I hate to admit how many dresses I have with the left slit. It's embarrassing. But I also like this little drapey neck, which I remember being really in in uni and then going way out. So I'm shocked that it's back again. But overall, I really like this dress. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it yet. Although I'm the type of person, I convince myself before I add to cart that I have this event to go to that I need this thing for. Do you do that too? <laughs> Next couple of pieces are from my most recent order that I picked up today. There are a few that I weren't able to get because as my luck would have it, I went to the store, I waited a couple extra days since for some reason Zara, if you order to store, it never just ships at once. There's four pieces here and they gave me three boxes. So I thought by waiting a couple extra days, everything would come at once. But then I got a notification as soon as I came in my house that said the last package arrived an hour earlier. So I could have technically got it back on the way home, but I'll go tomorrow. It's okay. And I'll put B-roll at the end of this video so you can see. This first top, mm, I'm already not sure about it. I got it because I don't really do the halter and sometimes you just wanna come a little outside of your comfort zone. But this hot pink, mm -mm. I thought it was coral. You would think for someone who can't see well, you wouldn't be so picky about colors, but I'm not really a hot pink kind of girl. Out of everything I own, I might have two hot pink things. Not to say they don't look good, it's just pink's not really my thing. So crazy to me in all the places I've worked and all the places I've gone where you should have an LBD, 
I've never had one that I could say is the dress. But finally, hopefully, I haven't tried this on yet, this will be my little black dress that I can pop on whenever it, the event or occasion calls for it. I was looking for something that wasn't satin because you can see the girls going OD on that fabric, but also is still giving flowy. And I thought this was a perfect musing of both, but also giving shapely without being snatched. The reason why I've never been able to find a good black dress is because they either look too sexy to be versatile for all occasions. Like, I don't wanna be wearing a bodycon to a bridesmaid's party. I don't wanna be wearing a black gown if I'm going out for dinner. I've always been a sucker for a strappy back as long as it's not doing too much. And the draped neck again, I just hope that this doesn't go way out. I feel like it came back with such a vengeance, it's gonna go out with the wind. And I donated so many shirts and dresses that had this detailing that I'm like, do I really wanna get back into it? We'll see, but I don't know. This is one of those dresses I like. I like the length, I like the feel, I like the flow. I just, I don't know. I think it's because black is such a boring shade to me. I hate wearing black. The jobs that have forced me to wear all black, I felt like I was going to a funeral every day. Possibly also because I hated those jobs. Back into my comfort zone. If you know me, you know why I'm obsessed with this eyelet dress. I love a summer vibe, okay? Summer is my favorite season to style. You can really dress it up or you can dress it down. Everything goes as long as you feel comfortable. I just hope with the wrap I can have a little bit more shape because it's looking a little bigger. But I'm gonna wear it as unbuttoned as my legs will allow just so that it doesn't look so stuffy. Sometimes pieces like this are giving your grandma's <laughs> doily. Is it a doily or is it the table runner? Just. You know what I'm saying, it's that kind of fabric, but I'm excited to see how I style this. Kind of expensive for Zara, but when you think about how much this material runs at Club Monaco, Aritzia, or Sabo skirt, this is actually a good deal. There's been another piece that I've been on the hunt for for years, and I haven't been able to find it. Hopefully this is it. I love the cream. I love a good cream off-white. This blazer dress, as long as it fits, is gonna be everything I need. I always wanted something and I love the shoulder pads. It's bringing me back to the 80s and 90s. I've always wanted something like this that gives you feminine but chic and sophisticated. A lot of times I'll wear a blazer and it swallows me whole, but I figured a blazer dress, maybe if I get it tailored or if it just fits right. Da, 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 so hard. Yeah, 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 so hard. That's what this is giving up. Although it's a dot. The dot means that it's a little bigger, right? I think it's a triangle fits small, square fits right, and the dot's a little bigger. I don't know. TikTok told me and I was like, wait, they never taught me that when I worked there. Or maybe they didn't have that when I worked there. Whichever way it goes, I really want this one to work out of everything that I showed you guys. Enough about that. So the three pieces that came with that order that apparently didn't arrive in time. The first is a satin effect, surprise, surprise satin effect kind of cross back. It's giving 90s pop star. I swear that was the trend that all the 90s pop star wore. I never got into it because my mom didn't want me out with my back out like that. Now that I'm grown though, I wanted to give it a go. Plus it's a really pretty lilac color like the TikTok viral dress. I didn't know that dress was TikTok viral until I Googled it and someone else mentioned it was TikTok viral and then I went and watched all these TikToks of these girls wearing it. I like the dress. I just don't know where I would wear it to and I don't want to convince myself of a circumstance where I would. Anywho, I digress. Same satin effect, more casual, but still I could dress it up with a pair of shorts. A piece from that same order is another satin blouse. It's more of a crop, but it's also oversized with crisscross straps. It's doing a lot, but at the same time, I thought it would just take up a really casual outfit up a notch. They styled it with denim online and I thought that was perfect but I would probably wear it with my, is it Melina skirt from Aritzia? That's how I would picture it, but we'll see. Then the last piece I got, I think is also satin too. So I really need to chill after this haul on satin, maybe do a little linen moment. It is a yellow dress. I don't know what it is about the color yellow. I feel like it's hit or miss. Either you can look like a million dollars in it or look like you're competing with Big Bird. It's just, sometimes it's not a vibe. So I hope that this one fits well and looks good. It's more of a looser effect, but also something I can wear It's versatile. I don't know, we'll see. So that's it for this haul. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. 
If you've seen some past hauls, you know that they've been tragic. That one with the Teletubby looking romper was a no. I'm still laughing at that months later. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment down below what your favorite article of clothing is or favorite store you like to shop at. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.